Prosecutors in the Kealoha corruption trial got in trouble with the judge today. The judge got angry about some of the testimony being presented. Manolo Morales has a recap. Manolo? There were two separate occasions when the judge got angry at one point telling prosecutors they need to get more organized. Now on the witness stand was the FBI special agent Karen Ackerman. She investigated the Gerard Puana case to see if his rights were violated due to the alleged mailbox theft arrest that eventually led to the trial of this case. Her early testimony got prosecutors in hot water with the judge. She was also an attorney and talked about finding truth and justice. Judge Michael Seabright immediately called for a sidebar and was clearly angry at prosecutors. Legal experts say that kind of statement is prejudicial, which could lead to a mistrial. When the jury left the courtroom right before recess, the judge told prosecutors, no more of that. Now, the judge also scolded prosecutors when they wanted to show transcripts of Gordon Shiraishi's recorded testimony to the grand jury. The judge had ruled against it before, and prosecutors seemed confused. Special Prosecutor Michael Wheat said, we were mistaken, I apologize. Judge Seabright was still angry, though. He said, I'm shocked at the way you think I operate. He added, if you want to avoid my ire, I suggest that you be more organized about these things. Other testimony focused on Allison Lee Wong, a deputy attorney general with the notary public office testified that there is no record of Allison Lee Wong as a notary in Hawaii. The president of the American Association of Notaries also testified that in 2008, an order was placed online for notary supplies for Allison Lee Wong. That order was sent to a Catherine Aloha, the director of the OEQC, the Office of Environmental Quality Control. Catherine K. Aloha also worked at the office during that time. Prosecutors say Catherine Kealoha used the name Allison Lee Wong as an alias in order to forge documents. Now looking ahead, prosecutors plan to show testimony of Florence Puana tomorrow on videotape. She is the 99-year-old mother of Gerard Puana. Back to you in the studio.